Hello everyone, welcome to the 2020 KVM Forum. My name is Zhang Yulei. I'm working for Tencent Cloud, which is the uh, leading public cloud provider in China. This session's topic is Advanced Parallel Memory Virtualization. We would like to use this opportunity to introduce the idea about how to mitigate the burden of MMU log to boost the guest performance in virtualization environment. After this session, you can reach me through the email address if you are interested in it, and any questions and suggestions are welcome. This is today's agenda for today's topic. We will start with the issues that inspire us to create this solution and go through the details about the implementation. At the last, we will talk about the plans to continue improving this and hopefully it can be upstream in the future. Uh, in our cloud environment, we got an issue that there is a significant performance drop in the guest after live migration. The commonalities for these guests are they have multiple vCPUs, usually have numerous memories and with a huge page table enabled. The workload in the guest becomes really slow after migration, which made us thinking about what happened behind the scene. So we will try to debug this issue. After debugging, we find the following phenomenon. Uh, from the trace log, we find there are a bunch of page fault after the migration. Because after migration, when use, when the guest tried to access memory, it has to set up the page table at first, and also performance drop get worse if we change or enlarge the guest memory size. So what is happening? Let's look at the page table setup procedure now. Uh, this is the diagram about the EPT setup process in current KVM. The EPT violation will cause the VM exist, and the EPT violation handler will check if it is the MMIO address. If not, it will check if it can be handled by the fast page fault pass, which is used for dirty log and access tracking. If not either, then it will go through the real page fault handler to ping the guest memory at first. And then before updating the page table, it needs to acquire the MMU log and hold the log until it finishes the work. So that you can see, the MMU log will block other vCPUs from touch the page table and force them to become a sequential operation. If there are multiple vCPUs have to update the page table at the same time, they will have to wait in line. Thus, they cannot return to the guest uh, to work on their real tasks until they have the page table ready. So the performance drop in the guest is expected. Now we know the bottleneck is the MMU log on the page fault handler pass. But the log is used to protect the page table and synchronize the updating. Can we get rid of it? In order to solve this problem and invade the burden of MMU log, here comes our proposal for it. We will pre-construct the page table for the guest so that it won't be necessary to ex VM exist to the host to set up the page mapping again during the guest life cycle. And it is also able to locklessly update the read-write status in the page table for the dirty log and page tracking. Uh, this is the overview diagram for our implementation. Has the guest when the guest boot up into uh, boot up to set up the memory region with our control like KVM set memory region, we will construct the page table according to the memory sort change, and it is protected by the KVM memory slot lock. After that, it is also support the dirty logging, as the IO control is also protected by the same uh, slot lock. And the update to read, write, and the dirty bit in the PTE is atomic and lockless. Here's the detail about the page table pre-construction. After getting IO control about the memory region change, 
we will iterate ping the guest memory and set up the page mapping with different page size granularity. The page table is stored in the root point named global root HPA. So before the vCPUs enter the guest, it will invoke the MME log to load the our uh, load into uh, load our root point into CR3 to use the pre-populated page table, which will help them get rid of the page fold exception. And in addition, we want to support the migration for the guest. In order to do so, we have to break down the page table into 4K granularity when they start to do the page uh, dirty logging if it has a huge page enabled. And if uh, hardware support uh, dirty log, uh, we will clear the dirty bit on the page table entry. Otherwise, we will set up write protect on the page table entry. And if the migration fails, we will restore the page table as well with a huge page enabled. Uh, thus, you will find the original uh, scenarios that vCPU handle together to update the page table is gone. Now that vCPU can update the page table in parallel, which can improve the guest performance and get rid of the burden of MMU log. Uh, this is the initial perform data we got with the initial patch. We create a guest with 32 vCPUs and uh, 64 mem uh, giga memories and let vCPU dirty the entire memory region concurrently. So each vCPU thread uh, will dirty 2 giga memories. We compare the time for each vCPU thread to finish the dirty job. You can see in 4K granularity, the improvement is huge. Uh, with the normal page photo process, uh, each vCPU takes about uh, 18 to 21 seconds to finish the job, which you with the pre-populated method, it only takes 2 to 2.5 seconds. And if we enable the huge page, uh, for example, about a 2 mega granularity, the normal code pass will take about 3.2 uh, uh, to 3.6 uh, to seconds, which is about uh, 1.5 times longer than our solution. So after all, you can see the benefit we got from the new app implementation. As we got logtex access to the page table, guests will get performance improvement as it doesn't need page folder to set up the page table. And also we can save some memory system resources as we do not need the um, MMU notification so far. And we can also drop the shadow page catch and parent reserve the mapping. Uh, but still there are some limitations for us uh, currently, we only support the feature with MMU virtualization enabled. And so far, the system management mode is not supported, as we need to pre-pin the guest memory. If we have to support the system management mode, we have to pin the same memory slot for them, uh, which requires extra memory to do it. So probably, uh, we will fall back to original page photo mode when it enters the system management mode to only set up the page mapping on demand. Uh, again, we as uh, we have to pin the whole guest memory in advance, so the memory overcommitment is not supported either. Uh, at last, uh, let's talk about something we are working on right now. As Ben Gordon pointed out in the mail list, we do not support the post copy in uh, migration yet. As we know, post copy rely on the user fault FD to handle the page fault in user space. Uh, in the post copy live migration context, uh, the newly spawned uh, VM try to access a uh, memory page, and if it fails, the VM fetch the memory page from original VM uh, memory over the network. But uh, in pre-populated method, we already set up the page table mapping on the target site. So there is no trigger uh, to help target VM to fetch the memory uh, from the source side. As we plan to make uh, this implementation a common solution and a support to support the post copy, uh, as this diagram shows, our idea is to um, 
uh, partially invalidate the page table mapping with M advice system call so that it could generate page fault for the user FD on target site to handle the post copy. Uh, this work is ongoing. We will send out the RFC again when we finished. Uh, below is the link. Uh, on this page, this is the link to the page set we sent out. Uh, you're welcome to have a try with it and bring us any feedback if it is helpful. Mm, thanks. I think that's all for today's sharing. Thank you. Uh, any question?